All right, so I have been freeze drying these hash brown patties that I buy from Aldi's. And I've got like six or eight of these containers freeze dried and sealed in jars now. And I didn't even think to look whether or not they had oil in them. Somebody mentioned that to me recently, and they sure enough do. Vegetable oil contains the following soybean or canola oil. And somebody's telling me that they go rancid after about six months. So that's not good if I've got as many as I have sealed up. I've got over 100 of these things sealed up. So I don't know if I can eat that many that quickly. But anyway, I was going to test uh, some jar here sealed. I put it up on 1.5. Those are my oldest ones, I think. Yeah. I think I sealed some other ones, but waiting for my water tank to cycle. My pump. Um, I thought I've done some earlier than this. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, look back through my jars again. I had two, the front two mixed up. I do have some that are a couple of days older. So, these are... I would put these at what, about five weeks old now. So let's open these and see how they taste and or how they smell and how well they reconstitute. So. And my trusty little thing. I love this thing. Right. Pull that way out of there. It's useless now. They still smell fine. Anyway, and I got a jar here of some piping hot liquid to reconstitute these in. And the only thing with these hash browns that I've noticed is that you have to be a little careful with them because they are brittle. Oops. I'm actually having trouble getting this one out of the jar without breaking it up. Oh, I guess it's going to break, whatever. Okay, so I think I got them inside the jar a little bit too tight. We packed so they broke up. So. Anyway, I'm gonna let these rehydrate for a moment and then we'll be right back. Okay, so apparently these things don't take very long to rehydrate. And they already turn very, very soggy. Actually, I think they're too soggy now. Hot water. Yeah, actually, yeah, see, they broke up. They let them soak way too long. Oops. Alright, we'll try this again with some other ones and not let them soak as long. Give me one second. Alright, so, lesson learned with these hash brown patties. If you soak them too long, they do turn to mush and fall apart very easily. So, I don't think they're ruined, so I just, uh, you know, spread them out on this pad here and I'm going to put them in the toaster oven here soon to crisp them see how they taste. In the meantime though, I got some more out, because I should probably start using these anyway, and I'm just going to do like I used to do, or have done the last few times, and just pour a little bit of water on them to rehydrate, instead of soaking them in, in deep water, So I think that was my issue, I look at them soak up the water really quickly. Yes, that is my water supply, my my pump that keeps cycling. I think there's something wrong with it. it shouldn't cycle that often in the background. Alright, now they feel a lot better. They're they're moist and bendy, but they're not like so soft they're falling apart. So, yeah, that works. That's looking a lot better there. Yep. All right, well, we're going to drop these in the toaster oven then and see how these turn out. And yeah, I'm feeling quite a bit of grease on these now that they've rehydrated. So, that could be a problem. Right, into the toaster oven air fry, let's see how they turn out. 
All right, so I wasn't paying attention. I left the room for a few two minutes longer, and the toaster oven crisped these things way too fast. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna eat those. So I'm gonna make some new ones here in a moment. Hang on. All right, so no great loss since I apparently have to use these things up anyway. So anyway, I'm just gonna put these things on the hot tray, pour a little bit of water on them to rehydrate, and stick them back in the oven. But this time I'm gonna watch them, make sure that they don't burn. All right, good deal. Then all the excess oil or excess water just you know soaks through. So, all right, these should be good to go. Doesn't take much water to rehydrate these things. All right, into the oven. Oh, well, that's why they cook so fast because they got it way up on the highest setting. Okay, we'll just watch them this time. Make sure that they cook properly without burning them. All right, see ya. Okay. These are crisping very quickly and look a lot nicer now. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's why they're burning, because I got them too close to the dang uh, hot spots. Okay, I think these are done. Let's get them out of here. Hang on a second. All right, I need to get my glove on. It's hard to put your glove on with only one hand free. Alrighty. Boop. Boop. Okay, so those things, these things cook very, very quickly in the toaster oven on high. We've got them sitting right on top of the, uh, right on top of the, the heat bars or whatever. I forgot that I'd lowered my pan for something else that I was doing. So anyway, these, uh, they still seem to have turned out quite nicely. I can feel their crunchiness. Still got a little bit of, uh, softness to them. Guess let's give them a try here. Grab my fork. Yeah, still crunchy. And I like salt on my food. Lots of salt, so excuse the excessive salt. I like salt. I'm crazy that way. So, not too bad. Let's give these a try. Yeah, they taste very good. They work. Mm hmm. Yeah. Flavor's all there. And there's definitely oil in them. I can definitely taste it. Hmm. So, anyway, like I said, I've got six. I got six freaking jars of these things. So, I guess if there's oil in them, I need to start using them. That sucks. Because I was hoping to have a bunch of these stored because these things are so good. So. The other thing I've been doing is making my own hash browns out of russet potatoes. And these are, you know, just straight potatoes from the store. Or, oh yeah, from the store because I haven't grown any of my own just yet. And these are just shredded and I ran them under hot water to get all the starch and everything out of them. And they've turned out quite well. I've had these, these have been sealed for about three weeks now, or two and a half weeks. And... The color's all still there, nicely. So, I might have to start doing this then, because these don't have any oils in them. The only problem is I'll have to figure out how to rebind them so I can make kind of like a patty-like shape. I'm guessing if you got them soaking wet and then kind of pressed them together and then set them down in some grease, they'd probably hold together. We'll have to experiment with, experiment with that someday. So, anyway, thanks for watching through my trials and errors and absolute failures with <laughs> totally totally uh, overcooking my first batch and burning them so anyway thanks for watching see you guys